hello so in today's video we are going to talk about soil types ever tried making a sand castle at the beach using the sand present there and it just wouldn't stay together or maybe you would have seen potters making beautiful diyas many other utensils out of clay so why soils are behaving so differently on two different places let's dig deeper into that and pun is very much intended there in order to understand this let's go through this one particular activity you can take soil from any of your surroundings for this video where we are trying to explain different soil types we will see three different soil samples one is loose and grainy one is smooth and sticky and one that's in between and we'll try to conduct one particular activity with all these samples in that activity as a first step we will add water as you can see in these pictures we'll just add a bit of water and knead it with our hands as a second step we will try to make small ball out of each sample and in the third step you can try to make different shapes out of these samples we will see what happens whether one soil falls apart or does one stick to your fingers or is there one that can be rolled very smoothly let's try to see them one by one whenever you are conducting this activity if your sample wouldn't hold its shape and just keep crumbling that's what we call sandy soil you can also call it the crumbly one in this scenario because uh, they as you can observe it it has big and gritty particles and such gritty and big particles creates large gaps between them so that allows more air between them and less water to get retained it also drains quickly which is why it feels dry as you can logically think about it if it has more gaps between them and it allows more air so naturally when you pour water in them it drains quickly from those gaps and it does not really retain the water so you cannot really feel it as wet soil and because it cannot retain water it cannot hold the shape well but that does not mean that it's not useful for us it can retain it, it can retain less amount of water it can be used for very specific type of vegetables root vegetables like carrots radish and peanuts you see sand soil is loose and it drains water quickly so the long roots of such vegetables they can push down easily and they don't rot in the soggy ground because the ground is not soggy in the first place it also can be useful in filling the sand based play areas this play areas that you see in your school one you would have seen one in your schools you maybe you would have seen it in your apartments or wherever you are staying Uh, because it doesn't clump and let the rain water drain away so sandy soil stays soft for the safe landings and it is easy for kids to dig and shape during the play now in the activity if instead of having a sand soil if your fingers got messy while making the balls but the ball turned out neat and tight then you can say that you have got clay soil that's the sticky one from this activity clay soil they have very fine particles and these fine particles are tightly packed so naturally they have less air between them and because they have less gap and less air they can hold a lot of water between the between the particles which is why it becomes smooth and sticky whenever it gets wet you can obviously imagine this is favorite of potters and yes in your textbook there is an example of sohakpuri surahis and matkas that's right they are made from this type of soil clay soil they can use to make pots toys statues but ju not just that they are also useful for plants like re rice and wheat because they require such fine particle soil and they require a soil that holds water significantly if during the activity if your soil is just right it is not too sticky then you have got a middle one that's loamy soil 
you can cause also call it the balanced one in this activity why because it's best of the both worlds it is a balanced mix of sand plus clay plus silt it holds both air and water well and since it can hold both of them equally you can imagine it can be farmer's favorite choice for you know crops crops and all because crops require air and water in proportionate amounts it is also rich in hummus and it feels soft and crumbly as i mentioned before the use of it it is you know farmer's favorite why because most of the crops can be grown very easily in loamy soil be it vegetables be it pulses be it grains and it is also useful for rice and wheat farming now rice and wheat farming ideally can be done in the clay soil but loamy soils can also provide a good base for rice and wheat farming now let's move on from the activity i feel at this time we need to talk about real world and when we talk about real world and the soil types that are present in real world we need to talk about one particular type of soil that is found near river have you ever walked near a river bank and felt the soil as soft and rich that's alluvial soil formed from the river deposits if you go to any natural river bank and try to dig deeper you will soon see such layers of the soil these layers of soils are formed over very long of time they are formed by river deposits basically soil and every other materials that are dragged along the river flow for a long time as time passes these uh, particles and materials that are dragged along the river flow they get settled over certain places and they create a whole new different type of soil and this one is super fertile if we want to write points about alluvial soil first point can obviously be what i just mentioned that it is formed from the river deposits they are super fertile and they can grow almost everything this is actually the reason why majority of farming majority of the agriculture business they are always and most of the cases form near the river banks this was one of the reason why humans in ancient times used to settle near the rivers because in the river banks you could almost grow anything and that could solve the problem of food and hunger so in order to summarize on different soil types we first talked about sandy soil which is crumbly it drains fast it is good for cotton and it is used for construction and desert landscaping as well next we saw clay soil which is sticky and it holds water which is great for making and shaping different types of uh, vessels different type of utensils pots etc and it also shapes our matkas and coolers loamy soil is what we saw the third type it is balanced fertile and it is ideal for farming we also saw very special type of soil called alluvial soil which is river deposited and rich and versatile for any sort of farming practices and requirements different soils can be used differently depending on their characteristic depending on how they are useful on certain scenarios and how we can make better use out of them all of these soil soil types ultimately helps us shape helps us grow and helps us support life just like humans even animals like earthworms moles and insects they live differently depending on the soil type thank you